Good morning. Welcome to school today. It is the 21st of April, and we'll sing the Red Oak song at the end, but let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My nose just started to drip. All right, let's see what we're having for lunch today. We're having beef taco meat with queso blanco and Southwest taco salads, refried beans, salsa cup, and corn, orange wedges, and sidekicks, and tostitos. So, oh, that's one of my favorite ones that we have. Let's see who's celebrating a birthday today on the 21st. We don't have any 21st birthdays. Huh, that's weird. All right, and our manner of the week, remember, is if you accidentally hurt someone, you still should say, I'm sorry, all right? So, um, and I think we don't have any eye ready testers unless they're makeup folks. It's been a little bit rainy. If you go outside today, please, please, please wipe your feet so we're not tracking in mud for the custodians. And remember that at Red Oak, we always clean up after ourselves. All right, our um, idiom of the day is class clown. Remember, we've done, we're kind of running back through them. Um, it's the funniest student in the class, but it's not always like a good thing. So if you're, if they call you the class clown, sometimes it's because you're being silly and goofy in times when you shouldn't be doing that. So class clown's not always a compliment. All right, congratulations to our STLP team that went to Rupp Arena yesterday for state. Um, we had, it was Amy and Micah and um, Kaden from, I believe, Mr. Shelton's room. They did a fabulous job. I posted their pictures. I'm super proud of them for the project that they did. And then I also have last week's, um, what do we call those guys? Last week's um, specials winners for art. They were Watkins, Wagoner, and Quinn, Wicks, and Fad Fannin. For Jim, it was Smitty, Wagoner, Wilkerson, Rupert, and Fannin. All right, so we still have four weeks for that contest, and right now the winners um, in each area so far, so it doesn't mean it's over, it means you can still catch up, but they, these are the folks who are leading, and Art, McDermott, and Wagner are leading, um, oh, Quinn, Wicks, and Fannin, those five, McDermott, Wagner, Quinn, Wicks, and Fannin, and Art, and then Jim, Watkins, Miller, Kenny, Rupert, and Arena. So you got lots of chances to catch those up with getting all of your points with that. Um, golden spatulas from last week were Hall, Johns, McDermott, Smitty, Helton, Lee, Miller, Wagoner, Kenny, Wilkerson, Hoagland, Kells, Rupert, and Wicks. And just like with specials, we have four weeks left. The current leaders for the end of the year pizza or ice cream party are, so these are just the leaders, they're not the winners, Smitty and McDermott both have 17. In first, Miller in second with 20, and Quinn in third with 20. There's a three-way tie in fourth grade. Kells, Hoagland, and Kells. Hmm. We'll have to ask Miss Hayden about that. In fifth grade, you guys are pretty much tied, so everybody's got a chance at that. So keep up that hard work in cafeteria and specials. And this week's golden spatula prize goes to... Let's see, Mr. Smitty's class. So Miss Hayden will touch base with you about what happens with that, okay? All right, then I've also got some ready to roll models. Uh, Cam, Cameron Johnson cleaned up another student's mess. He uh, owned his own behavior. Eric Danchuk uh, cleaned up somebody's mess. He made good decisions. Trey Floyd stopped in the hallway to let another student go to their classroom. He was... Um, Let's see, what do we got? Oh, including everyone taking turns and playing fairly. Um, Gadiel Romero passed their I Ready lessons at home. He did his best. Kaysen Warnot is an active listener during morning meeting. Thank you, Kaysen, for listening, because sometimes I think nobody's paying attention, so that makes me happy. Uh, Bristol Whitey's also fo always follows the rhetoric expectations. She does them all. And Brinley True is also an active listener during morning me meeting. Thank you, Brinley. And congratulations to Ms. Watkins class. They have completed 14 Red Oak charts. Woohoo! All right, I think Ms. Watkins, I may still need a picture of your group for number 12, if you think about that. Um, what do you get when you cross a cow and a rabbit? Oh, this is kind of gross, but funny. You get a hare in your milk. Like hare, H-A-R-E for rabbit. Why did the horse keep falling over? It just wasn't stable. How do fish pay their bills? With sand dollars. 
um, which creatures <laughs> which creatures on Noah's Ark didn't come in pairs the worms because they came in apples <laughs> get it pears apples. and how do you shoot a bumblebee with a BB gun all right let's sing our rhetoric expectations with Miss Drake everybody singing good morning everyone Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior and always treat others the way that we want to be treated. And know we can. And know we can. R-E-D-O-A-K, 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 Red Oak. Okay, just a reminder to all of you that are in the Spring Sing that we have practice tomorrow, and make sure that you're there, um, and that if you have a speaking part, your part is completely memorized. Make sure that you bring your shirt that you're going to wear so we can see everything that everyone's going to be wearing, and I will see you tomorrow. Sounds great. Have a great day. Remember, it's super important to me that you keep your hands and your feet to yourselves, that you are always kind here, there, and everywhere, and that our hallways and our bathrooms are silent places. It was not a really great silent hallway, so teachers, if you'll help us out with that a little bit, please. Um, and also remember, do your work, do it well, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys.